Hi. In this video, we're going to have a look at Map F in the Theme 14 booklet. Map F is where we start to introduce igneous intrusions and how they're shown on geological maps. Now, this goes back to uh, ideas we've uh, learned earlier in the course. There's nothing new uh, in this. Um, in this exercise, other than how we can actually think about them uh, as they're shown on maps. Now there are three types of intrusion that we need to be aware of. Plutons, dikes and sills. And we recognise these in terms of their, both their shape and their relationship with the rocks around them. So a pluton which is effectively a crystallised magma chamber, uh, is large in scale, maybe over a kilometre across. It's intruded or forced its way into the surrounding country rock. And then as a result, then will cut across lots of boundaries. So it's discording. And it's cutting across other beds. A dike is much smaller in scale. We describe it, its shape as being sheet-like. It, it's long and it's thin. Crucially with dikes, these uh, sheets of magma that have been injected into uh, the country rock cut across that country rock. They're often vertical, but they don't always have to be. The key point is that they, they cut across, they're discordant with the country rock. Sills are also long and thin. They're also uh, sheets of magma that have been injected into country rock. A sill is different, though, because a sill will follow um, beds within the country rock. It's what we call uh, concordant. So these shapes and the relationships of the country rock determine what type of intrusion that we're looking at. It's really important uh, for us just to remember these. Now, if we look at these in cross section, so this is the slice through the ground, plutons tend to be this large mass and they've got pretty much vertical boundaries or very, very steep boundaries with the country rock. Dikes, uh, again, often are vertical, but not always, and they cut across uh, other beds that are there. Sills follow the dip of uh, the country rock, so whatever the bedding is doing in that area, the sill will follow it. Does mean we need to be careful to recognise uh, a rock then as being igneous, either through uh, identifying the rock that's there or some other structures, perhaps like columnar joints, for example. Okay, this is Map F, and we also have uh, a photograph, uh, photograph F taken. Uh, at the location indicated on the map. There's a number of questions for you to, to go at. Remember to use the, the key to these maps as well uh, to help you identify which rock is which. The cross section uh, goes from X to Y. And we also need uh, to think about uh, the age relationships of these. Think about what we learn um, in terms of relative data, and in particular for igneous intrusions, cross-cutting relationships. Okay, now's the time for you to have a go at those questions, see what you can come up with.